and here I am back again with Matt Wall of Wharton, Na Go on, Matt, Wharton go on. Natural Infrastructure. <laughs> yeah, and uh, basically um, w what Wharton do is, in this particular instance, is um, uh, ecology and uh, bat surveys. So we're going to demolish this house. Why do we need a bat survey? Let's let Matt answer that question. Thanks, Dean. So bats are legally protected in the UK. Um, they're particularly susceptible to developments such as this because they have generally only one pup a year. Sometimes they have two, um, but their reproductive rate is quite low. So if you've got a colony of bats in this building and you, you don't do a bat survey, you knock it down, you can really impact the bat population locally. Um, not only that, they're legally protected, so if you're going ahead and demolishing bat roosts without a licence from Natural England, without understanding what those implications are, you can really get yourself into some trouble. And Dean is a responsible developer, we've done a lot of work for Dean before. Um, so here we are again today, what I'm going to be doing is having a look around the outside of the building, see whether there's anywhere that bats can get in, so slip tiles, lifted tiles, gaps in soffits, things like that and then we'll go inside have a look inside to see if we can find any evidence of bats so things like staining any actual bats that might be there um droppings as well that's generally a pretty good indication um or feeding remains so bats will normally eat the juicy parts of the insect so uh moths for example they'll grab a moth on flight they won't be able to eat it while they're flying sometimes it'll be a bit like us trying to sprint and eat a big mac um, however they fly into a feeding roost they'll eat the juicy bits of the moth and then drop the wings on the floor so that's another indication for us so what we're going to do is we'll get the assessment done pull a report together for dean give him a call after we've done this just to let him know what the uh, what the recommendations are going to be and pull a report together for planning and submit that and then we'll see how we go Brilliant, Matt. Fantastic. Thank you very much. No and actually, that explains why Matt's got this um, uh, retractable ladder. I just realised he's climbing in uh, the loft and actually well, looking for, for uh, any signs of bats. Now, basically, you know, Matt, Matt uses lovely term, Dean's a responsible developer, which I like to think I am. Um, so what Matt will recommend as part of his report is if we do have to evict the bats, which I hope we don't, uh, Matt will recommend mitigation measures for that. So, for example, uh, roof tiles that will allow bats to live in there, bat boxes, um, and basically retain the balance of nature. And, and that's what this uh, survey is all about. If you remember the previous survey that Matt did, uh, that was uh, an ecological survey on the, the land that we've got at the rear uh, in terms of um, you know, badgers, foxes, and all sorts of nature that might live there where we don't want to cause an imbalance. Um, and, and that's exactly what Matt is and Wharton are going to advise us on. Um, so there you go. Um, if they've got any questions, uh, drop us a line um, and we'll be uh, happy to, um, you know, uh, talk about it. Uh, look forward to um, hearing from you and uh, look out for the next episode. Oh, before I go, um, if you want to look up our website, it's inquiries at kingsleyhomes.com. Or if you want to call me direct, it's 0121 330 1769. If you'd like to contact us at Water Natural Infrastructure Consultants, please give us a call on 01789 459 458 or email me matt, M-A-T-T, -T, at wnic.co.uk. Ta-da for now.